Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 2nd of 2020, well, it is titled The Fainting of Betelgeuse. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image showing the constellation of Orion. And right in the middle, you can see the three stars that represent the belt. And down below, you can see, uh, towards down below and to the right, you can see the stars that represent the sword of Orion. And there are two very bright stars in Orion. The two brightest stars are Rigel and Betelgeuse. Rigel is the bluish star off over to the right side, and Betelgeuse is the redder star off over to the left. And what has been noted over the last few months is that Betelgeuse has been fading, and in fact is about half the brightness that it was earlier. And that is, Betelgeuse is an example of a variable star, meaning that it does vary in brightness. However, this is about as faint as it has ever gotten uh, since we've been making measurements for the last hundred years or so. About as faint as it has possibly gotten. Now, variable stars, there are different types. Uh, some will vary in brightness in a regular manner and others will vary in a more irregular manner where they will get suddenly bright uh, as well. And Betelgeuse has a number of different uh, variability time scales, and it looks like it might be a combination of them all coming together at once at the minimum, so that everything is giving its minimum right now and making Betelgeuse far fainter than it otherwise would appear. And who's to say what will change with this? It'll expected then that Betelgeuse would then brighten as it comes out of this minimum. And perhaps later this year, over the next few years, it will begin to change and brighten again. Some of its variability timescales run from many days to years, so it could take a little bit of time. Betelgeuse is still one, even with being half as bright, is still one of the brighter stars in the sky and the brighter stars in the constellation of Orion, just not as prominent as it used to be. So it will be interesting to see what happens over the coming months and years as Betelgeuse continues this change in its brightness. Now, another thing we do note is that Betelgeuse is a supergiant star and is the type that is expected to explode as a supernova at the end of its life. So that is another thing we want to watch and see. If, if Betelgeuse were to explode as a supernova, it would become one of the brightest objects in the sky. Um, only the sun would be brighter and it would be rivaling the brightness of the full moon by a single star. So incredibly bright, but certainly far enough away to keep us safe. Betelgeuse being about 700 light years away, a supernova would need to go off within about 50 to 100 light years to cause significant damage and extinctions here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for January the 2nd of 2020. It was titled The Fainting of Betelgeuse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.